back. I wanted to show you guys um, how to fix your own Prius battery. Me and Nick was talking. I was like, yeah, I'll do a small little video on it. Um, so I wanted to show you what we had to do to his to fix it. So guys, what we had to do to fix his was replace this here cell, okay? This cell was at 6.63 volts. Um, it was up in bank nine and 11 or 10 and 11 or something like that. I don't remember because we changed all these batteries around and we've been charging them. And uh, now, see we got these we're charging these cells we're charging the ones that are really low and going through them making sure they're good but these are 8.82 and 8.87 that's a plus um now these chargers you can get them cheap he paid like 30 bucks a piece for these um you can get them for like 25 bucks cheaper ones but i wanted to show you how to charge them so because these are done and i know he wanted to charge that one up and guys i'm not going to show you how to disassemble this pack um it's easy to do it's easy to get it out of the car it's easy to do i'll tell you what you need to do to get these out there's one bolt on the bottom for each battery, or one nut. You need to pull those nuts. Um, do one at a time, guys. And these nuts, these four nuts, and then that nut there, and there's a metal guard that comes off whenever you um, pull it apart. The whole pack, it just bolts. The, the whole top comes off. And guys, I highly recommend a nice thick set of welder's gloves is what we use to work on this right now this battery is safe right now you can touch it all over and it's not going to kill you whenever you hook these up is when you got to worry so whenever you pull this pack apart you don't want to touch any of this stuff at all stay far away from it and you don't want to touch either side one side of this is fine Get one side off, preferably this side, or either or, it really doesn't matter, but this side is really the easiest to take off first. Just take these nuts off. Wear welder's gloves, be protective. See, got welder's gloves there. But I wanted to show you how to charge the cells. That's the main thing. You guys can figure out how to get it apart. It's super easy. But how the easiest angle is gonna be for this. I see that okay now we're just gonna hit hold down the start Oops. it needs to be on nickel metal hydride auto charge six amps these are six amp chargers okay six amps and we set a time limit at 120 minutes as a just in case now it's chart it's charging see this one's at 7.72 volts it's a little, a little low we want to bring it up it was at 7.88 resting whenever we pulled the pack apart that was fresh out of the car though he had just driven the car um we set a timer at 120 minutes you can go higher than that if you want to these will automatically shut off whenever the packs are fully charged and to bring a dead cell back or not a dead cell, but a cell that's really kind of low. You want to do a charge and discharge. I, I'm not going to walk you through the charger because there's uh, different videos on YouTube on how to operate these chargers. And I, you know, you may have a different charger. So the process can be a little different, but the basic thing is NIMH. You want the highest amp you can get um not too high but six amp that's how much this does and then you can set a timer if you want we did just because 
And uh, what else you need to do to bring a pack back, try to bring a pack back, is to do discharge cycles. Now these will discharge at two amps and you wanna drain the pack, charge the pack. Do not drain it past six volts. Ideal is 6.2. These are 8.4 volt packs, which they are gonna be a little higher than that. That's just a typical battery. Um, do not discharge them past 6.0. 6.2 is ideal, 6 down to 6 is ideal for a really crappy pack, kind of like this one. We would take this one down to 6 volts. And we're going to do a video to see if we can bring this one back. We will do a full on uh, bringing a dead pack back. This pack is not dead, it's got some life left in it, we think. But the the voltage, it it's weird. So. We replaced it. To replace these, you can find them for about 20 bucks. He did. So we replaced that one. And then there was another iffy one, which was 7.75. This one also threw a code, but we charged this one last night and we brought it back. On a single charge, we brought it back. So that's just showing you guys what you can do your own batteries but be careful this battery will probably kill you i'm almost sure it will kill you if not it's gonna freaking hurt your balls are gonna be shriveled up in your butthole I, I know we're not going to the moon on this one it's not a space shuttle but it's still dangerous and it can hurt and i'm sure uh this could be a fire hazard if you don't know what you're doing so be careful wear some type of protective gear at all costs, wear that. Be careful. Again, we're not going to go through assembly or disassembly. This is just to show you how to replace the packs. There's plenty of assembly and disassembly videos. We're not going to flood YouTube with the same content, but we want to show you how to fix your own pack. It's super, super, super easy, but it is time consuming. We're on day three charging these batteries and stuff, and that's with two chargers. So, I know there was another one. We're going to go ahead. <coughs> and charge it. Let's see, pack number 22. You can see we uh we knit, we numbered them one all the way up to 28, but we moved them. We moved them and stuff. We had them out. We had this whole pack apart. And then since it's already set, we're gonna simply stop it. Then we're gonna put it back on charge and it'll start charging, both of them will start charging. And then after those two, we're done with this pack. It's gonna go in the car. So we will do an update video on it going in the car or not going in, but you know, update on how it drives and if it fixed it or if it didn't fix it. But uh, we believe that it did fix it. According to these chargers, um, everything's on point. We And another thing, it tells you how many amp hours. These are 6,000 6, amp milliamp hours or whatever. 6,500 6, actually. And these chargers will tell you whenever you discharge it and charge it, it will tell you how many amp hours is in this battery. So if it's not 6,500 or even 6,000, it doesn't mean that it's a bad battery. It just means that the life went down. So if, if you have 2,000 amp hours out of a pack, then that's getting down there. That's pretty bad. So um, ideally, I would say you want to be around 4, 4,000, 3,000 would be 50% life left. And you want to be at least around in there to get some more life out of this pack. But ideally, um, to go through each and every battery, it takes a long time. Because I, you want to do at least three charge and discharges to find out if you can bring a pack back and find out the amp hours on it. The higher the amp hours, the better. So 
we have found that all of these are good to go now this one wasn't but all these are good to go but we are going to try to bring this one back we will do that in a separate video once this is put together and we know that it's good and everything so but we got a couple batteries left and then it's getting put back together and getting in the car i highly doubt i will make a video on putting this pack together for the main reason is i don't need to be worrying about no camera while i'm messing with this and while he's messing with this because once these start going on that's when stuff gets dangerous so i don't need to be worrying about no camera making no video on it but it's super easy to pull apart anyway it's super easy to put back together see there's literally four bolts on each side of that and it lifts right off so we don't need to waste camera time for that well i hope that might help somebody a prius owner that wants to do it themselves instead of instead of spend 500 dollars on a new pack um you could fix your bat your battery because not all these cells are going to be garbage you might have one or five that are going out and they're super easy to test and you'll save a lot of money at twenty dollars a, a battery uh you can't beat that you can do it yourself as long as you're safe take your time don't get in no rush we don't want to see nobody get hurt so there is a disclaimer on this video actually there's a disclaimer for all my videos if you do what i do and you get hurt i'm not responsible so yeah do it at your own risk i know i'm making it sound worse than what it really is but seriously if you get hurt it's gonna hurt it's not gonna be oh ow like a little wall outlet shocked you this is 201 volts which is actually I think fully charged it puts out like 250 volts or 240 volts ish in there fully charged but nominal voltage is like 201 or something like that so yeah okay i hope that helps you and be safe be careful make sure you hit the like button because this one definitely earned it this is some dangerous crap right here but when he called and said, dude, you want to find that or something? I'm like, sounds dangerous. Uh -huh. Let's do it. Right next time. We're going to do it. And so far, we're doing it. But this is how you can save a bunch of money. So if you're an auto shop and you get somebody with a Prius that the battery's crap on, you pull it apart. You get a couple of these chargers. You take a few days. You go through the batteries. You find out which ones are the lowest voltage and... Uh, start with those and half the time you can bring a battery back half of the time if it isn't swelled and all screwed up you can bring one of these batteries back so essentially it could cost you nothing like I said it only cost him $20 plus the chargers he's got $60 in the two chargers and $20 in this but if you already own the chargers you know so there you go guys Fix your own Prius pack, but buy a rental car because you're going to need it because this takes a while unless you got a bunch of chargers and you can hit all 28 of these up at once. Then you can have them done in a day. But we only have two chargers that charge one battery at a time. So that's the way it is. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.